Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to connect your project to an external database or create your own. The first thing you need is a database with ODBC access. Notice that Calypso accesses directly to a database only by ODBC. To show you how to do it, I'm going to use an SQL Server database located in my machine. I've previously created an ODBC connection to it and I'm going to show you by double clicking it next and putting my credentials so that you can see that I've defined the default database because there's no parameter on Calypso to do it so therefore we have to do it at the ODBC level. So back to our designer, click on database or double click database on the tree view. I'm going to go by database on the toolbar and this opens your project database. At left we see the add button, we'll press it to create a database connection profile. Here we need to name the profile. I'm going to simply call it Calypso and select the ODBC that I've just shown you before. If necessary, you can also use the ODBC button here to access your ODBC manager. Notice that you need to define your um, ODBC data source in 32 bits. Finally, let's input our credentials. Now we press save or enter and our profile is created. If you check your project tree, you'll see that the created profile listed and Calypso even tells us that it's an offline profile. This means that all the tables belonging to this profile will be created locally in the device. Therefore, we'll, ha we'll, we'll have to synchronize them with the server at a certain point. All this process is automatic, so you don't need to create any database on the mobile device. Calypso creates an SQLite database to hold the data. For all of this to happen, we need to pull tables from the server into the project. To do it so, we select the database connection profile and here at right, we press the add button. We press next and Calypso connects to the server and lists all the available tables and views. To make it easier, we can filter by owner and now, let's select the tables we want in our project. So, I'm going to select these three, press next. And there's no need to select all the columns if we're not going to use them. And there will be no problem with synchronization because Calypso has the ability to partially synchronize a table. For example, I'm going to uncheck the flag column and leave all the others and press next. We are now prompted to add more tables and we'll say no. Back to our database window, we see all the tables we've imported to the project. If we open the products table and move to the columns tab, it's possible to update the table. Imagine the following scenario. Your application is up and running in the devices and you get a request to implement a new feature who requires the use of an unused column. Due to Calypso's ability to keep data even when having to update a database structure, we can do this at any moment in the lifetime of our application. So all we have to do is press the refresh button and select the columns we want and press import. The columns are added to the table and we save. So far, we've created an offline database connection profile. As discussed before, this requires a synchronization process to exchange data between the server and the device. Mainly for indoor applications, you might want to create an online database connection profile. This means that no database will be created in the device. Instead, all database operations will be performed in the server. If you create a record, it will be in the server. If you update the record, it will be in the server. To create an online profile, you should follow the same steps as an offline profile, 
So let's fill the data. Press Add button, call it Calypso. On, and I'm going to select the, data, the same database, so the same ODVC connection, to show you the flexibility of database usage in Calypso. Input my credentials. So the only difference now is that we are going to check this online connection property. As you can see, Calypso automatically selects our previously created TCP IP communication profile. TCP IP communication profiles are the only ones we can use for online databases. That's it. We press save for the online database connection profile. Just like for the offline database connection profile, we are going now to import tables from the database to the project. We press the Add button, just like before. Next, we filter. And notice that we can't import the already imported columns. Sorry, the already imported tables. Even if the profile pointed out to another database, that wouldn't be possible. A table's name must be unique within the project. So let's select some other tables. And notice that we can import views, but Calypso will acknowledge them as tables. This is a view. Views are uh, especially useful when working with uh, online profiles because we can aggregate and format data from several tables at the server level instead in, of the mobile device. So let's pull it into our project too. So we press next. Next again, we say no when we prompt for more tables. And back to our database window, we see all the tables we've imported to the selected profile. Since the tables are associated with a profile, Calypso always know if they are online or offline. So these are online, these are offline. And if you haven't noticed, there's a default connection profile named local. This profile is internal and cannot be edited. It allows you to create tables instead of importing them. The tables you define are only available in the scope of your project. They are considered to be offline and persistent tables. They are automatically created in the offline database of your project and cannot be synchronized. Local tables are especially useful to store persistent data or temporary data that you can later transfer to an offline table or simply export to a text file. So let's create a, an example table, call it table one. I'm going to create column one, set it as numeric and primary key, and column two as a far chart. Now, here's a genero, generic schematic on uh, Calypso's database connection profiles, with two profiles pointing to the same database, one set to online and another to offline. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about databases. See you on the next one.